have to bring up this question. It was also in the chat. Um, you mentioned that the program, the fund will start in January. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but we are December, and I'm hoping we'll be able to participate in our first deal in January for all of you are as excited about it as I am. Awesome. Um, but we also know that we are going into an election year and continuity at times uh, is a challenge in Pakistan. So uh, what's this fund going to look like in the following years to come, especially with the election just hanging over? So can you speak to the investors about it? Sure. No, I think that's a fair question. I tried to answer it earlier. I'm happy to uh, to answer it again, just so that we reaffirm some faith in this. The big deal in the government is to allocate funds. Allocate funds in a program, we call it a PC1, where anyone who writes that PC1, which is a piece of paper on which you design such programs, and, any, and anyone who approves it, are all then signed up on this. So it's not just then me deciding to spend this money. Uh, this PC1 has been written, written by Ignite, which is an organization that we have, vetted by the Planning Commission, and will shortly be approved by all these stakeholders. And the money will be set aside to be spent in the format that we've just discussed. Uh, and then going forward, I'm hoping that beyond this PC1, which is for the next year or two, we will have a couple of billion rupees going into this fund from the from Ignite. Now, Ignite is, is our essentially a telecom ICT R&D fund. Many countries have it. In Pakistan, 0.5% of the revenue of all the telecom operators in Pakistan goes into this fund year after year. So it's a fund that currently has accumulated about 13 billion rupees. And so every year, some money goes into this fund from the telecom operators as a tax levy on their operations in Pakistan. So in Pakistan, the regime is 0.5% of the revenue of the telecom operators. And currently, I think the fund stands at about 13 billion rupees. And I think a, a few billion rupees come into this program every year. This is through the Ignite that we run the national incubation centers and, 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 and many things that we do with you guys and so on and so forth. And we do the hackathons and this and that. That's the funding. That's the short funding behind it. And, and I'm hoping that Ignite funding would become part of this. This investment committee we put together would be largely independent and we'll take it forward and we'll put together a very small team of like a chief investment officer and analyst or associate or something like that to come in and uh, take this forward. So I've, I've, I've designed it such that it does not depend on me, that it is largely run by folks like you who are independent, who just believe in the idea. And, and I've made it such that there's a short funding at least for the next couple of years and then going forward through Ignite perpetually. And that this is how we spend the Ignite money uh, to enable early stage VC investments in Pakistan. 